going to have to make way around Moreno. Moreno moves up, takes the high line, lets the two faster cars through. Turn four, we've got a problem. Car against the wall, and it is Moreno. Those two cars just came around him, and then Moreno gets the wall. He came up high. I think acknowledging the presence of the two faster cars and then suddenly was in the wall. Maybe we're beginning to build up some uh, marbles. You don't see any there. Roberto's uh, obviously okay. He's taken off the steering wheel. That's the first sign that he's fine. Now climbs out of the car. He was having a good weekend too. His family is here. Two little girls are just charming. Great little gals. Taking photographs all around the track. So Roberto Moreno ends his day early. He finished third in the U.S. 500. So he expected there might be something. Getting a help from uh, one of the crew there. It's like he's bouncing on yeah. one leg. Uh, Maybe he took a pretty good whack on the foot. We'll wait for the official medical opinion. He's got some of the best right there standing at the door. That's Dr. Terry Trammell of Indianapolis, who has been acknowledged time and time again as the best orthopedic surgeon for race drivers. And uh, let's take a look on the onboard camera. Maybe we can figure out what happened to Roberto. In turn two, Danny, onto the back straight. Okay, he's just coming down the back straight. And he's looking in his mirror. That's what his head was doing there. Lifts a little bit going in there. The faster cars just went underneath him. He's up pretty high. Oh, he just gets up in the gray. Whoa. 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 It's a lot bigger hit than you think. Those walls do not move. But you know what? I think he just got up in the gray. He didn't hear the throttle change. and just kept moving up. And then he realized it was too late and had to come out of it. Well, he saw the faster cars coming. Moved up and out of the way. The cars uh, leaking fluids. Uh, most likely that is water. And the question is uh, whether or not anything else, oil, and, and it wouldn't seem that gearbox oil gets on the track there. No, that'll be from the radiator. And what they did here on, below the car is they just put like a little dam there of oil dry to stop the, the fluids leaking down there. So the pits are open. The leaders are all coming in. Zanardi followed by Ribeiro, by Pruitt, by Jill DeFerrin, and by Mauricio Guzman. Those are the top five. They are all coming in. Hunter Jr. Fernandez, let's go to Jack. Well, Adrian Fernandez coming in very slowly, hits his marks. In the meantime, Alex Zanardi has completed his work. Let's go to Gary Gerald. Gary, oh, great stopper, Scott Pruitt. He picked up two positions on a 10-second stop a while ago. He just hit our clocks at 10.4, and it looks sensational, Jack. And Gary, a long stop for Adrian Fernandez. They had trouble getting the tires on, but more importantly, they had trouble getting all the fuel in. They accomplished both, but he's at the tail end of the fellas that came on to pit road. Well, this time the Patrick Racing Team was the best on pit road, and they got Scott Pruitt out very quickly, right behind Zanardi. So that will pay off tremendously in terms of position when they are ready to go back to green flag. Let's take a look now at Roberto Moreno once again, Danny. Yeah, you see him just get up there in the gray. He can't do anything about it, can't turn. He's just trying to ease it down. Boom, right there, right front wheel goes in there. That's probably why he was limping. If he hit something there, might have come into the cockpit and just got his, got his ankle a little bit. Took the right side of the car pretty hard. Also took out the onboard camera. So we are under yellow at the Michigan 500 for Roberto Moreno. And we'll be back after these messages and a word from our ABC stations.